Hi guys, this is Ajahn Abraham. In this video, I will show you how to test for cross-site scripting in an authenticated page. Here uh, we have a web application called DAM Vulnerable Web Application. So this is basically a test application or a vulnerable application that is used by uh, people to test different types of attack. Anyway, let's log in. So here what we are interested in is in XSS store. So here you can see a form. Let's uh, give some data and then sign in. So it looks like a form based on a post request. So we need the parameters, right? So for that, you can either go check with the source or you can do this way. Just right click, click on inspect element. Now. Uh, give some data here just click on sign this book so you can see a lot of files being shown here so if you just go to the top you can have a relative path xss underscore s so that is this thing and you can see that the method is post just click on it now you can see the headers response preview cookies etc so if you just scroll a bit down you can see the form data so the the different fields are txt name that is a name field m, m mtx message that is the message field and then a button sign that is the value for this particular sign guest book button click on uh, view source so we get all the parameters and the value just copy it and go back to synotics select post request person and then give the parameter there and Back, take this URL, copy it, give it here. So URL is given. Yes, let's see whether it works or not. Just, just make a request. Make a request. You got a response. Go back to Synotics. Okay, now it's asking for a username and password. So, uh, you are in this particular page and you made the request and you are welcome with the login page. So that means you are not an authenticated user so in this case for testing an authenticated page you will be needing the cookies so that is why in the post request fuzzer there is a an option to add cookies come back to our browser and this and go to cookies and these are the two different cookies that are set by the application so in order to uh, exploit this cross-site scripting in this vulnerable web application first you have to set the security to low so let's go to dbw security and let's set it to low submit let's clear all the lock now just come back to xss store okay so if you just click on this and if you go to the cookie tab you can see that there are two cookies that is php says that is php says id that is the session cookie and then the security which is set to low that is another cookie just copy the particular cookie copy that is a cookie name we sit here and copy the cookie value you have to copy it completely don't miss anything out just copy it and paste it in the value and click on add cookie so one cookie is added and now copy the other cookie that is security so the name will be security and the value will be low add cookie so now it's okay let's make a request so we make made a request and just go back so now we are welcome with uh, you know that particular form the page with the form so the graphics and such things are not there because uh, there is a lot of uh, CSS or image files or anything that being called from a relative URL so this is not in that particular context that's why the graphics are not rendered anyway this is fine for testing so we have this particular page uh, now we are authenticated with the session cookies so now as usual we need to test this fields so 
we will be testing the parameter txt name so replace the value with open square bracket capital x closing square bracket same with mtx message parameter so once you are done okay now you can choose between uh, any of the fuzzer let's go with the blind fuzzer click on fuzz and let's see what is happening So each of the parameters are being tested. Okay, so we got accesses here. So this is how you can test cross-site scripting in an authenticated page. Thanks for watching.